Back is still with us on Startup Street. Singapore-based B2B fintech firm Aspire recently received $79.15 million in funding from its US-based holding company. Founded in 2018, Aspire provides a comprehensive suite of financial services for small businesses. My colleague Shruti Mishra caught up with Aspire's co-founder and CEO, Andrea Baroncelli, on the sidelines of the Lightspeed event Liftoff in Mumbai and started by asking him about their plans on how they plan to use their fresh funds. We are uh, serving businesses, uh, typically it's, it's small and medium uh, businesses and mid-market. And what we are uh, providing to them is an integrated workflows that connect payments with software um, workflows. When you are a consumer when you, and you think about a payment, for you, you just make a payment and that's it. For a business, before a payment is made, there is an invoice to be raised, there are some uh, vendor management uh, feeling that you, you need to make to understand who you need to pay, how much, what is the service. Then there is an approval flow inside the company. Yes. There is a budget management that needs to happen, who approves and when, and then the payment is made. And then after the payment is made, there are uh, a, a lot of synchronization with accounting software um, and uh, reconciliations. And so we try to put all these things together so an SMB uh, finance teams can just smoothly operate a full payment uh, workflow in the same platform. So how much more efficient? You said you help them save money. Is there a percentage you can give me? I think we, in, in the first six months, usually businesses can save up to 50% of okay. what they typically have been uh, operating with in terms of both headcount and a lot of different tools. Yeah. Um, but it's not just savings. It's also uh, a, much, uh, a much better efficiency and, uh, and user experience. All right, let's go back to the fund allocation plans. Lots of funds there. What do you plan to do? Yes, so we are, uh, I mean, long term, again, we want to connect these payments uh, with, with software and workflow. So for us, it's very, very important to continue to invest in the technology to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Because this is our core advantage and, and, and sort of the pitch that we have uh, in the market for our clients. And so a lot of research and, research and development. We have a lot of our engineers sitting, uh, you know, in, in India. Okay. Uh, building great product, you know, integrating, uh, for example, a lot of, uh, workflow with AI nowadays to make better um, uh, value in terms of reallocation, categorization of expenses. Um, there is a lot to do with KYC improvements as well. Okay. Uh, because of course being a payment business we need to uh, onboard clients and we try to make it more and more efficient so there are also investment that goes in that type of technology. Uh, and of course, always in marketing and distribution as well. All right, we will come to the India plans a little <laughs> later. Uh, but you know, you've also developed a financial technology excellence hub in Singapore yes. uh, that will drive your product development and your strategic investments in areas like artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. If you could elaborate on those plans first. Yes. So we basically said, what are the moonshot, you know, uh, uh, sort of investment development that we want to build? Uh, and and, and basically, we are putting together Singapore as a hub for fintech, uh, where we are creating this excellent center. Mm -hmm. And the two themes, uh, the first is artificial intelligence, and the second is cybersecurity. And we are creating this hub where we are putting the best and brightest minds together, collaborating also with, go uh, also with government agencies and universities to really try to create a pool of excellence uh, for cybersecurity and artificial intelligence in finance and fintech. Um, we are planning to do that, again, by uh, creating a task force uh, and, and uh, collabor uh, we, that will do research, but also collaborating with our business teams. All right, let's, let's get back to the India focus now. How big is the Indian market for you and you know, how soon do you plan to expand in India? So for us, right now, India is, um, is where a lot of our team members sit. Uh, and so I visit India very often. And okay. Uh, it's, it's something that, in terms of business, we are, uh, it's very, uh, very exciting, right? A very exciting market with a lot of opportunities. We are still exploring, and we don't have a, a definite timeline in mind, but we are definitely thinking that we would like to explore the market and launch uh, uh, something or being able to be in the market at some point. All right, so pretty soon, I'm hoping. <laughs> uh, you know, Andrea, according to a recent report by Charate Ventures, the Indian enterprise fintech market is, uh, you know, expected to touch $20 billion uh, in market size by 2030. So clearly, there's a lot of investor interest, but take us to some of the big opportunities you see and some of the big challenges. Yes, so uh, again, for, for us, we, we see a lot of opportunities in, the, in that segment that is, um, we, we call it small and medium, right? Mm -hmm. um, the, the business is, 
is, is big enough that they have a lot of processes to follow still. Yeah. Uh, you know, there is a accounting team, finance team, treasury team, they need to integrate th th themselves. Um, and we basically want to make them work more efficiently together. So we go, we go there and we, we provide basically only one integrated solution to manage their uh, finance stack. Um, this piece, uh, it's underserved in the market. You have two sides of the equation. You have traditionally uh, you know, banks that yeah. and, and payments, pure, that are not typically integrated with software. Um, and, and then you have purely software businesses that are not really integrated with the payment. So we go in the middle of it and we create a really nice proposition. All right, on that note, it's time for me to wrap up our conversation. But Andrea, many thanks for joining us on Startup Street today and wish you the very best in all your growth plans. Thanks so much for having, uh, having me. And with that, 